And today I'm sharing my mom's uh, secret recipe, a so called the um, Chinese chicken wok. Sesame oil, instead of using regular cooking oil, we are using sesame oil. You should use quite a bit and uh, some old ginger. We slice the ginger and we fry it, saute it for about 5 minutes. Okay, and continue stir frying it. Okay, why do I say uh, we need to put it at five minutes so that we can get the fragrance uh, really out from the ginger? Okay, we don't need to fry it to really crispy, but just fry it to a uh, slightly brownish will be good enough. Okay, this is uh, also the chicken that uh, we have cleaned it well. The sesame oil and ginger will fry it together. Make sure you clean dry the chicken and uh, drain it well uh, or else uh, you get the oil all splattered out. So you fry it with the ginger, mix it well with the ginger so that the whole chicken will get the fragrance. Constantly uh, stir fry it so that you can get the chicken all evenly and spread with the sesame and the ginger all around the chicken and it will taste so good later on. I can start smelling the fragrance of the, this dish. Uh. If only you are here, mm, it smells so good. My mom is, the secret is my mom is using Japanese wine. Okay, she's using Japanese wine instead of uh, Chinese wine and uh, in fact, it gives the chicken uh, even a better taste. Okay, I will show you which brand she'll be using. Okay, see, she's pouring in. Okay, this is a wine that is uh, not sweetened. So she'll pour some. Mmm, smells so good. Continue stirring it. Blend it and mix it well. Make sure the chicken gets all the wine too. Okay, this is the wine that we are using. Okay, I also cannot read the bread, but uh, it's in Japanese and Mandarin. Uh, but this is a very good wine. You can get it from Japanese uh, specialty store or maybe Asian market. You can try, okay? This is the regular, not the sweetened wine. You can see that a regular wine are clearer. They are very clear, okay, very transparent. I will show you the sweetened wine as well. This is the secret of having a good pot of uh, chicken wine. Okay, this is the sweetened uh, Japanese wine. Okay, this is the one. Okay, by the way, I'm no ambassador or am I promoting. I just want to share with you this wine. Okay, uh, we don't get any uh, advertisement fees or any support from this brand. Okay, but this is really a good wine because my mom has been trying different different type of wine you know from those done in local Malaysia um, imported from China but this so far is the best okay you can see that the Japanese uh, the sweetened wine is darker in color and not so clear and uh, transparent as the regular wine okay so please uh, do take note okay if you see wine like this darker color and not and a bit more murky this is the sweetened type okay. okay make sure when you get the Japanese wine get the rice wine yeah the rice wine because um, this Japanese wine the way they ferment the wine they give really good flavor you not know, ferment with the rice and don't forget to mix uh, the regular wine with the sweetened uh, Japanese wine Well, as you know that uh, Taiwanese, they are very, they, they use a lot of uh, Japanese stuff as they were you know, 50 years under the Japan rulings before in those days in history. So um, they, they really use a lot of seasonings, uh, soy sauce and stuff from Japan, especially my mom, if you know that she's a Taiwanese. So if you use the wine, Japanese wine, rice wine, I mean, make sure you get the pure one, okay, because we're using the pure Japanese wine and we 
have added in the third time for the wine now. You can see that the chicken are all shimmering and it's getting cooked now. Alright, we are adding the uh, regular rice wine for the fourth time. Okay, you have to keep on adding the wine because uh, like we know that the alcohol will evaporate and you don't have that fragrance, so we'll keep on adding. Uh, after adding on the wine, we let it continue to shimmer, continue to boil, so that the chicken will get all the fragrance into the meat and oh my, so tasty, I can't wait to try. But as to how many times you should add the wine, it really depends on your preference, okay? This is really up to you. There's no fast and strict rules about it because um, after all, this is home cooked food and you, everyone knows, I mean, would agree with me that home cooked food is the best, especially done by your mom schedule. Okay, we are adding in the regular wine the fifth time now. Okay, we'll shimmer this for just another 2-3 minutes. It's good enough just to get the wine taste, okay? And um, now my mom is uh, dishing it out. Finish uh, chicken done cooking. My mom have added uh, all together five times of wine, but the last round of wine, you have to uh, dish it out after one, two minutes just to let it flavor. Okay, it looks so good. I'm going to have my lunch now and I hope you like it and will do try it and uh, share your comment with me. How do you feel about it? And if you like it, please help me to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Busy Mommy Cooks and follow me on my Facebook too. Thank you and see you. Bye-bye.